Cody here. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup look, which is based off the cover of Afterglow magazine, December 2013, of Zoe Dutch's makeup look. It's sort of a golden smoky eye with a bright red lip. It's perfect for holiday season. New Year's bar date, you're sorted. So, first of all, obviously I need to tie this mean back. So I'm just using a little lace headband thing from Claire's, I think. But you guys don't really care about that, do you? Okay, so now my hair's out of the way, we're going to start with the eyes because we don't know how much fall down you're going to get. So you're always safer to start with eyes if you're going to be doing a dramatic look on your eyes. So I'm going to be starting with my Maybelline Paint Pot, or color tattoo, in Eternal Gold. This is the shade. This will just help the eyeshadow stay longer, so it's just basically acting like a primer. So just get some of that in your finger. And put that all over your eyelid. Okay, now with our base out of the way, we're going to move on to eyeshadow. So the whole look is basically a mixture of high-end and drugstore. Sorry if you don't have the high-end, but um, you can always get dupes in places like Rimmel and Revlon and Maybelline and all those places have really good eyeshadows as well. So next we're going to put on our eyes this absolutely beautiful colour from MAC and it's called Amber Lights. And the camera really isn't showing it any justice, but it is, it's a beautiful golden bronzy colour. And you're going to tap off your brush, and then you're going to put this all over your lid. As you can see, bright gold. And if you have green eyes, this will look stunning on it. And don't worry, I know it looks really harsh, but we're going to fix it. We're going to blend out. So, repeat on the other eye. Okay, so before we move on to our next step, you're going to want to blend it. So take a clean brush. I'm just using this Eco Tools one now, just a clean eyeshadow brush I have lying around the house. And blending it in small little circles and window washer movements. And if your eyeshadow sort of dropped down a little below your lash line, that's okay. We're going to be able to clean that up with concealer. And as you can see, even though I've only put this one eyeshadow on over the cream eyeshadow, or primer, it's already sort of creased. It looks like it has another colour in the crease, even though it doesn't, so that is the beauty of this eyeshadow. So just blend it out. It might take a little while. Okay, so I'm going to move back to our first brush, and we're going to take, well, I'm going to take, you can take whatever colour you want, really, but this Rimmel London palette, and this is Smoky Brown, I think, Smoky Brown, so yeah, Smoky Brown, and we're, this is like a quad, and it looks like this, and we're going to take this biscuity colour over here, and we're going to place this in the outer half of our eyelids. And we're going to repeat on the other side. Now on the inner half of our eyelids, we're going to take this colour and then we're going to place that in our tear duct area just to brighten it up. This is just going to add a bit of dimension to all the gold we have going on here because it looks a little crazy. And then we're going to repeat on the other. So, inner half, tear it out. Okay, so 
Next on the agenda is we're going to do our crease. So I'm going to be taking MAC Mulch, which is a sort of golden coppery brown. It's basically a brown with golden shimmer in it. And this camera isn't really picking up the colour very well. Excuse my nails, they're not painted. Sorry. So you're just going to take that on the tip of your brush and then you're going to tap that off once more. And place that in your crease. And you're going to repeat on the other end. Okay, and once again, we're going to do a clean up with our clean brush. Well, it's probably kind of dirty now because we did our last clean up with this. But still. Okay. Now we are going to move on to eyeliner. Now, um, in the picture, Zoe Dutch is wearing false eyelashes from what I can tell. I don't have false eyelashes, so we're just going to use mascara and eyeliner to thicken up the lash line and make it look like it is because it looks very dramatic and black and smoky around the edge. So I'm just using this Maybelline Master Smoky shadow pencil. So it just has a liner in one end and then this little smudger brush in the other. So it's perfect. So it doesn't matter if it's sick or kind of messy, you just don't have it halfway up your eyelid, hopefully. Gonna want a little more. And concentrate on getting a lot of it on outer half of your lid. Okay, and then you're just gonna take your smudger brush and gently. Crease that. Okay. And then we're going to repeat on the other side. I'm going to put the lid in this because it's abnormally short when you don't have a lid on one side of it. So just repeat on the other side. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to curl our eyelashes. I'm just using this eyelash curler. I'm not sure where it's from, um, but it's just one of those ones you get in the drugstore. Just I got it in bits, I'm pretty sure. So, just gonna curl my eyelashes. And pump it a couple of times. Don't be afraid. Just make sure you don't do it when you have mascara on your eyelashes, or even if you didn't take off your makeup from yesterday. Yes, that's gross, but it happens to the best of us. So. Oh, and I will try and not put myself in the eye with this. And our eyelashes are curled, so now I quickly while they're curled, I'm gonna be taking my Maybelline the Full Seas mascara. And on that through my lashes. I'm nearly out of this mascara, so I need to get more Ooh, sugar. Okay. And just wiggle it from top to bottom. And you want to put a little on your lower lash line as well. I mean, your lower lashes, don't put on your lower lash line. <laughs> so, if you want more dramatic lashes like I do, then I'm going to be taking my Volume Express mascara from, oh wait, no, the Rocket Volume Express mascara also from Maybelline. And I recommend placing that around the base of your lashes. It gives them a filler look without the clump. 
So, move on to the other eye. Alrighty then. So, our eyes are done. So now we're going to move on to face and then we can move on to lips. So for face, I'm going to be taking my L'Oreal Magic Dream to Me foundation. And this is in the shade... I don't know what the shade is. I don't know what the shade is, sorry, um, but obviously you're just going to use whatever shade you are. So I'm also going to use my Miracle Complexion sponge from me, from Dream Techniques even. This, so I'm just going to place a couple of pumps in the back of my hand. And then we're going to use the curved side of the sponge. And just dot it, center the face, and blend it outwards. Because you want it to be more diffused around the edge of your face so you don't look all peel neck hand face and what's great about this is because it has a pointed edge you can get right in under your eye and around your nose and all those little crevices you usually can't get in right just one half of my cheeks done then I'm just gonna do the other this is probably the most boring part but at least I think for the most crucial. Make sure you blend it down into your neck because you don't want to have a really pale neck and slightly tan face. If you're like me and you're very pale then any foundation you're going to put on your face is going to make your neck look really really pale. Okay so I'm just going to use another pump maybe two for my forehead and just do the same thing. And make sure you're not like rubbing it in, you're just dotting it in. You're stippling it. And blend it in around your hairline as well. And now the other side. Okay, now, um, if you don't need foundation, then obviously you could have skipped that step or just use BB cream or just use concealer, but I'm going all out because this is a party look. So now I'm going to be using my Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and this is a shade Fair, and I'm just going to dot this under my eyes and any place where I have blemishes I might need it. So obviously just place it where you need it. If you don't have bags or anything then don't bother putting it under the eyes and don't put too much for the love of God because it goes crazy. And just use your ring finger because that is the softest finger you own to pat it in. Okay. And yes everyone well, this in my experience, pull some sort of weird face when doing mascara and patting and concealer in under your eye. And as you can see, you can blend up because your eyeshadow should sort of end in a V to where your eyebrow ends. In my experience, that is what looks best, but whatever looks good on you looks good on you. Just blend in the concealer wherever else you put it. I recommend blending the concealer you've put on your eyelids or not your eyelids below your eyes first because that tends to dry quicker and you don't want dry orange concealer underneath your eyelids okay so now we're going to move on to a crucial crucial step that most people forget and I hate that it is eyebrows so I'm just gonna use this little eyebrow spilly brush to run through my eyebrows now, here's the trick. There's not much point in going out and getting some sort of specific eyebrow thing, in my opinion, because you can just use an eyeshadow. You never know, you probably already have one. That will sit it. So, for my eyeshadow, I'm just going to take this little tapered angled eyeliner brush, but I use it for my eyebrows and for other things to do with it. 
And I'm just going to take my really disgusting sleek palette, and this is a Storm palette, and as you can tell, this is the one I use for my eyebrows because it is very loved, and we're touching bottom, as I like to say, because it sounds naughtier than saying hitting pan. So, I'm just going to take that, and I'm just going to fill in any sparse areas. As you can tell, I have quite large eyebrows. So I don't need to make them bigger or anything, it's just filling them in. Whoops, it's easy. Hit the pad. And I recommend starting from the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Yes, I will, Nana, don't worry. Sorry. I'll cut that out, hopefully. And just do the same on the other side. Now, if you had oily skin, you could set your foundation. I don't really have oily skin, I only do it on occasions, and I forgot to bring my powder downstairs, so I'm not going to do that. So we're just going to go back, now our foundation has set, and we're going to use blush. I'm not going to use um, bronzer for this look, you can if you want, but I'm not a massive fan of it. I'm not even going to contour or anything, so just, this is sort of a case of do what you want with your face. So this blush I'm using is from Revlon, and it's perfect holiday shade. It's a Revlon Matte shade in 002 Blushing Berry. So I'm just going to take that on my Real Techniques contour brush, smile, and place it on my cheeks. Okay. So, on top of that, I'm going to use this. Now, this is absolutely gorgeous. And not many people don't use this line. I know I didn't for ages until my mom spotted this. And she was like, Clota, you have to see this. And I was like, okay. And I saw it. And I fell in love. And now I own it. So, this is the B Dot range. Um, and this is available in Superdrug. This is their Superdrug exclusive brand. It's kind of like Bits of 17. And this is Big Glowing Shimmer Blog. And this is in the shade 161, just peachy. And wait till you see it, it is gorgeous. I like to use it as a highlighter, you can use it as a blush, you can use it as a bronzer, just to warm up your face, just to give it a nice glow. So I just like to use it to give it a nice glow. So just swirl your brush in it, and sort of place it as highlighter, blusher, combination. But don't use too much because it is very bright pink. And if you use too much, there is a trick I will show you. If you use too much, as you can tell, I've used a little bit too much on this lower half of the cheek. Take whatever you put your foundation on with and just dab it lightly over that. So that will mute down the colours and I hit something. Oops, easy. Um, now for lips. We're going to be doing a bright red lip here. Don't get scared. Um, but... I am going to be using the shade 567 Pleasure Me Red from the Colour Sensational range in Maybelline. And it looks something like this. It is so pretty. But what I'm going to do is because we're doing a bright red lip, you don't want it to stain around your lips. So I'm going to use this little lip brush, um, detailer brush, sorry, that's the correct name, from my Real Techniques kit. And I'm just going to dab this onto the lipstick. And you're going to fill in the edges of your lips first. This is basically a way to avoid paying extra for lip liner. Yep. Okay, and just do your top half. And it's okay at the end of filling in your lips as well. We're obviously going to be going over it with the lipstick. Okay, now we have our lip on, kind of. So you're just going to take your lipstick and you're just going to go over it.
Okay. No, I, I think that's a little bit too dark, so I'm going to use another lipstick I have also from Maybelline Color Sensational, and this is 560 Hollywood Red. So I'm just going to place this over the top of it. And just clean up any lines. No, here is the trick so it does not get on your teeth. Just take your finger, you can use it like this, you can bend it, whatever. Just pop it in your mouth and any excess lipstick will end up on your finger and not on your teeth. Okay, so here is the finished makeup look. I hope you enjoy. Um, try it out. Do you have any requests or any other makeup looks for me to do? Um, follow our blog. It is beautytalkwithgigi at blogspot.com and our email is the same but at gmail um we have a twitter and a facebook page as well all the links will be down in the info bar below you will see geraldine on monday and it's nice to see you bye